Hey guys, so today we are going to be attacking our dumbbell skull crushers. What do we need to know? Well, obviously the target muscle is our triceps. Uh, we know that our triceps go over two joints. They go over our, our elbow to create elbow extension and they also come up and insert into our scapula. So why is that important for us? Well, we need to make sure that we stabilize at least one of the joints for the other to work. So in particular, the way we ga gauge the most amount of tricep activation is through elbow extension. Therefore, we need to make sure that our shoulder is nice and cemented and, um, and stable for the most amount of muscle recruitment out of this joint here. Right. So what do we need to know or where, where does a dumbbell differ from a barbell? Well, we know that the barbell is obviously uh, one or is where the dumbbells are two. So there's going to be a great deal more of control and stabilization that needs to occur through both arms because they are both moving freely. Right, so let's get into position. It's just like we would with any press. We're going to start with our shoulder blades pinned back and down, especially for our, for our uh, this is how we're going to stabilize our, our scapula in order for, to get grab A or get more muscle recruitment from our triceps. <coughs> right, so if I can grab a hold of the dumbbell. We're going to come in, place our feet underneath our backside, lock ourselves back and down, and create an arch. We're going to be stabilizing the scapula by pulling our lats down towards our back pocket, our scapula down towards our back pocket using our lats. So we're going to really over exaggerate this arch. Now, coming up with a dumbbell, what we are looking to occur is we're actually going to bring these elbows in nice and tight. Now, I've spoken about before line of pull. <clears throat> what we want to happen is if we're extending, so we'll, we'll look at this view here. If we're extending, we want to go in a straight line of pull. When we start to diff or when we start to cave in with our, with our hands or externally rotate or internally rotate, externally rotate, <clears throat> we can get tearing effects on the inside and outside of our uh, elbow and therefore we over time can get things like golfer's elbow and tennis elbow on the outside especially when we do extensions which is why some people have some elbow issues when they start to do it they get a bit of blood there and then all of a sudden they're fine <coughs> however uh, that will be because their tracking or their line of pull is not where it should be so how do we control that? Well, what we want to do is we're going to pull our scapular shoulder blades back and down, and we're going to roll our elbows in, and now I'm thinking about taking these dumbbells past my ears. So my line of pull is essentially, uh, how am I thinking about this? We're thinking about taking our thumb, and it should be all the way in line with our shoulder. Our armpit, oh no, our armpit, our elbow pit, or whatever that is, um, will also be in line with our thumb. So we're gonna roll in, we're gonna bring these elbows in towards the midline, and that's where they're gonna stay. You'll feel that your chest will almost come on when you do this, and that's how we're gonna stabilize it. So we're gonna pull our shoulder blades back and down, we're gonna squeeze our pecs together, and we're gonna take our thumbs down to our shoulders and come back up. And that is exactly where we wanna lock in and stay nice and tight with. <clears throat> what we need to realize too is that <clears throat> when we're at the top section of this particular lift, here you can see that the dumbbells are traveling, or the weight is traveling straight through my bones, right? And into the bench, which means that there's no tension through the muscle, and therefore, it's, it's well, by losing tension, we've lost the engagement through the muscle, and we're not time under tension, and it's pointless. So, what I'm getting at with this is, I want you to pull your shoulder blades back and down, I want you to contract your pecs, and I want you to slightly take your hands so that the end of the dumbbell is now in line with your eyes. And by simply shifting that load out almost behind your head, you're going to get a far better contract, or you're gonna get a lot more tension through your triceps. And then when you come up through your straight line of pull, you are going to get the most muscle recruitment out of those triceps as possible. Now, things to be aware of, <coughs> because they wanna go everywhere, 
it's vitally important that you keep those contractions on through your lats and through your chest. When you let them go, your elbows are gonna wanna flare out, and when that happens, that's when we can get some issues through our, through our, uh, through our uh, inside or outside, or golfer's elbow, inside, outside of our elbow. So make sure that when you're doing this, that we keep our chest on, our shoulder blades back and down, and that we are following that line of pull there. And team, that is how you do and execute your dumbbell skull crushes.